Has anyone noticed lately that the fuel's starting to come down in price just a little bit? Pretty much everywhere I go at the moment, I'm paying somewhere in the mid to late 170s a litre for a litre of diesel, and that's a vast improvement over the nearly two quid a litre we had a good couple of months ago. And I think, mm, it's encouraging, it's encouraging. And even my uh, colleagues are saying that their fuel car prices are coming, coming a bit more reasonable. Well... I think all this is about to end. I think we're going to get absolutely slammed. And I'll tell you all about it next. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing alright. This is a bit of a warning for you. Because uh, I don't want anybody to get caught out. And I've, I've got a feeling we probably will do uh, sooner or later. We know this... Uh, what do you call it, autumn or winter statement? I forget the bloody seasons where they stand up and tell us how much things are going to cost us now, but there you go. And, uh, you know, we were told, blah, 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 and cost of living payments, yaggedy schmackedy, and all the rest of it. Well, it came out in the news, and I covered it, that uh, Mr Hunt was uh, a little bit sneaky. He left out a couple of details, such as... The uh, fuel duty could well be seen to go up by 12p a litre in March. They get rid of this freeze that's been in place for at least the last 12 years. And we're all like, <clears throat> you know, it, it will absolutely cripple a lot of people. And I can see my prices yet again having to go up. Well, uh, Rishi Sunak uh, was put the question, uh, you know, uh, in, a, in a meeting... Uh, and he was asked, uh, will the freeze continue? Uh, you know, will you honour this hold on fuel duty that it's been in place for over a decade? And do you know what he said? That question's not for me. Batted it off. So, yes, he's not saying yes, he's not saying no. What he's doing is refusing to rule anything out. So when the shit hits the fan, politically, it's not his fault. And the other thing as well, he had this 5p cut in place and that's due to expire in March. Never made a comment about that either. I mean, the problem with the 5p cut, I think all the fuel people saw it coming, raised their prices by 5p, and then it was cut, and, you know, the old profiteering kicking in. It's absolutely disgusting. But reading between the lines, I, I think come uh, the start of next year, we're going to get royally screwed. And, uh, you know, perhaps things will go back up to somewhere near the uh, levels we saw them at a couple of months ago. I don't know what you think of this. Let me know in the comments below. It'd be interesting to see, you know, what you all think of it, and perhaps we can discuss it later on next week in another live. Anyway, I'm off. I'll see you with another one soon. Cheers.